Hi, Serious Bruce here, back with another Entire Adventures New Game Minus 4 video, episode 36, and it's been like a month since last episode. I have enough infinity points to get this upgrade, and I guess a few other upgrades. Oops, I can't, I can't find it. It's the break infinity. There's this one, and then one, two of these upgrades. And then I don't have enough to get another infinity dimension upgrade. So, I don't even know where I go at this point. Actually, no, I, I have an idea of where I go. I tried this challenge again. Because I couldn't complete it before, and I probably need to complete it. So, <clears throat> I'm going to just get get as, just as many dimension boosts and get galaxies as possible. I don't know those challenges again. It's just the takes me multiplier dimensions. I was at one times, but every, but every takes me purchase to create... Oh, yeah, it's, it's just reverse infinity challenge three, but... It, it does probably nerf the game further. So, yeah, I need E1530 antimatter. <clears throat> Which, this is probably possible considering where I'm at here. And, I mean, it's not going to be like super easy, but I don't. It, it seems like as long as I just like let this build up and everything, I'll be able to. And just let the galaxy points also build up. I'll be able to make it within like a day or so. So that is what I'm going to do. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back and the challenge automatically completed itself and <laughs> tried again. Probably just because of my auto buyers. Finally, I had enough infinity points here <laughs> that it actually crunched and beat the challenge for me. So. The reward is that every tick speed purchase decreases tick speed based on galaxies, which me will I'm not sure if it's quite as powerful as what the challenge is doing, but if it is, that could be a really nice boost. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm gonna disable the crunch auto buyer um, and that auto buyer as well. Just try to see how far I can get. I don't I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it all the way to like E4000 or anywhere close to that, but I mean, we can see how far we can get here, and I mean, like E2600, I'm not sure exactly how good this is, but I mean, like, the thing is there's no new galaxy upgrades to grind for, so that's kind of pointless. I have both potato and potato squared. I may want to go for, you know, anti-tables, but I can't seem to really get that. This is impossible. This one might be possible. Um, I'm not quite sure. This one, I, could, I guess I can try for. This, I just don't have the fourth infinity dimension yet. So, uh, maybe I could even look at this. I mean, infinity challenge 13. I did not know they went all the way to 13. Because that was, that was five. So, yeah, I'm still... I don't think any of these are possible um i don't what is my total sacrifice it's definitely not e308 like of, of course i can you know dimension boost and get the mysterious op dimension boost multiplier so i can get like you know even more everything but even this is not gonna um i don't know it's just it's not quite gonna get me like to like this or anything so maybe I, I can go for achievements like how easy are these challenge what even are my challenge times at this point um, I'm not even sure yeah they're all like one second I mean maybe if with the right automation if I just like you know that was that was very quick so maybe if I just set this to one and I just enter these challenges and I just like hold D so I can you know crunch here I can I can I can get it in 0.6 seconds uh, the thing is I need to dimension boost twice that's the problem see when I dimension boost once I can I can get oh so close but yeah I mean I guess I can just try every challenge maybe this is a little easier maybe this one does allow one dimension boost um, I mean I can just Try the thing is my auto auto buyers are still 
the slower version because I haven't gotten the auto buyers work twice as fast yet. Should should be able to get that not that far away. But yeah, we're just gonna go for the rest of of the of these challenges just to see how quick we can get them. This will also help boost um, this upgrade. It's not really not really that powerful, but at least it's something. Um, mostly just doing it for the achievements. Um, I mean, is the reward any good? Mm. Has a reward, but it's very weak. So, yeah. I mean, maybe it'll help lower the challenge times a little bit. Um, but yeah, there we there we go. Everything is just. Let's see if I run into any challenges that do give me a problem here, because sometimes sometimes they do give me a problem. Like it looks like this one. On a galactic sacrifice, which is, I don't even know what that is, it's 14. That one might give me a problem. But none of these so far are giving me any problems. Um, I know this one's not going to give me a problem, it's like the easiest one of all. Um, challenge 12, okay, that one is giving me a little bit of a problem. I guess the thing is, it's automating galaxies, which I don't think I want at this point. It's like, when I'm just trying to beat these challenges. So, yeah, this this one is giving me a little problem. Let, let's see. Um, can I even... I, oh, yeah, it's the one where, I, where you don't need just galact... I forgot. With the challenges, you just need galactic sacrifice. Except challenge 12. It's so weird. So, I think this will... Like, if all we need to do is just galactic sacrifice... I don't know. Maybe this isn't actually helping anything, but I'm at least gonna try here just to see if it's if it's gonna do anything for me. But yeah, here we go. Challenge six. Wait, I'm in challenge twelve the whole time. Can I actually just exit out of challenge twelve for one? Okay, yeah, there we go. So hopefully this will make things easier. Yes, I keep running through all the challenges over and over again, just hoping to try to beat them, try to get that enemy achievement. I don't think I'm, I can quite get it yet, not until I can get, get the upgrade that speeds up the auto buyers and just, I guess, a couple of other upgrades, but at, at least it's something. Can, can I actually, can the click register? Thank you very much. Okay. Anyway, yeah, challenge 10, challenge 11. I don't know why my clicks are not registering all of a sudden. Like, is, is this a, is this the game or is this my mouse? I'm not, I'm really not sure what it is. But, I mean, I've never, never, never seen this. I don't even know what this challenge is. It's just, you, you have a total of 10 dimension views. I don't, oh, I got a secret achievement somehow. Um, skip ahead if you don't want to look at it. Okay, there we go. That that I think that was the secret achievement. Anyway, well, let's keep going. Um, <clears throat> challenge 15, and last but not least, challenge 16. So, um, so now now I'll, I'll turn off this automation and exit challenge. Let's see what my challenge times are. Yeah, we're close. You can see every challenge. I struggle to get it much below. Um, 0.4 seconds. Although somehow I did get this at 0.2 seconds, which may mean that it is possible to get this all under five seconds. So I can save 0.2 seconds on like 10 challenges. I mean, I doubt it. Like, I mean, I can try. Like, like let's see how hard it is if I just like manually press D instead of holding it down. What what do we get here? Do we? 0.296, like, maybe it is possible to get this, it, it's kind of a pointless achievement, but, um, I mean, it's, it's right there, it's, it's like so close, this one I actually can't seem to get any faster, um, yeah, like, even if I just hold everything down, I, oh, 331, like, it is possible to lower this, but it's just, it's not... That, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like 
if, if it is possible at all to lower, it's just not gonna, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna quite be able to make it down to five seconds. So at least, I mean, I could try challenge 12 again if I just do this and maybe saving time in this challenge will um, help it way more. Like, if we go to, this is still 1.384 seconds. Maybe if I, again, don't hold the D key down, um, or maybe I disable the Galaxy Auto Buyer again, um, or even just set this to 1 instead of 2, that could speed up the challenge quite a bit more. Let's see. This is still 1.384 seconds. Hmm. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I have to just click it five times. Um, or just like... I don't know. I, I, this is just not quite... Like, even if, what if I hold M? Is that gonna... Uh, no. I don't, I don't think this is actually... I keep thinking that it's gonna do something. Especially since this is the slowest challenge time that I want to, you know... I want to speed this up, but it's just not quite fast enough. Like, I could even try running another challenge inside it. Like, I'm gonna run challenge 10 inside it, just to see... Okay, no, that's not possible. What if I run... I mean, I'm thinking there is some I can... I can run that actually do speed it up. Like, maybe if I... I'm not even sure what I should try to run. Maybe challenge 7? If I run that, can that do anything for me? The problem is there's just a delay after it crunches to do anything. But what if there's, what if I, um, <clears throat> has to be some I, I can run. What if I run this one, challenge 13, is that gonna make it possible faster? Okay, no, I'm, I, I'm just hoping too much. I, I can't speed this up any further, at least I got this one order of magnitude faster. And I think what I should do at this point, I mean, there's other achievements I, sh I can go for, I can try going for. Um, I mean, this, it says first dimensions are 909 times stronger and buff the more expensive infin break infinity upgrade based on infinities to be more more effective, which may be really good. So, this probably is actually worth trying. So, I have to go into automatic galaxy challenge and get one of these. Okay. I'm still very far away from this. I just need, without dimension boost, shifts, or galaxies, yeah. Like, even with galaxy points, it's just not, this is not possible in infinity dimensions. So, as much as I want that to be possible, I will not go for it. And I think what I should do now is, <clears throat> I should just try to, you know, optimize my infinity. So, again, I do the usual... Um, what is it doing? Is it time dimension shifting? Like too much? I don't know. Um, what is it even doing? Oh, it's crunching. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need it to crunch. So I can get twelve galaxies, which means that I can. This is still. I wanted to dimension boost first. So how much? How many boosts can I get? That's let's let's crunch here. I just do it right as I get twelve. That is seventy three. So, I get this, 73, and then it's not enough to get a galaxy. So, maybe I should not do this yet and go for tick speed boost instead first. So, when I get 12, I can get, what is that? That's like 117. I, I thought I had 120 before. I mean, what if I do 120? Like, is that going to be easily possible? Yeah, it is easily possible. And then, and then right after that, I should just get dimension boosts. Oops, I can get another, I can get another galaxy there. So, what do I do that? Um, and then, well, I, I can get 80. Yeah, that's probably the best bet. 80, turn this on, let's see how many infinity points per minute I am able to get. Or not infinity points per minute. So it looks like 
Peak is right around E12, maybe 9.5 E11. And that gives me almost E13 infinity points per minute. So, like, what, like, what am I getting here? If I go to pass infinity, yeah. It looks like I'm really close to peak here. Or at least, or just like the final, you know, peak. Maybe I could just do 9.0 to... This could be slightly better. Yeah, it's getting, I'm getting E13 infinity points per minute with that. Maybe if I... Actually, I'm going to even just do 9.2. That seems like the most optimal solution here. That can get me that kind of an E13 infinity points per minute. And if I, what if I hold M down? Let's see. Um, so we're just going to have this, and then we're going to have one more run. Holding M down is becoming less and less powerful at this point. Because, I mean, it's going to really become less powerful once I get the um, auto buyers work twice as fast upgrade. But, yeah. It looks like that's what we're going to do for now. We're just going to wait, hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> this upgrade's going to do its thing. I feel like this is a big improvement off of what I had before, which is like E11 per... Like, I was only in the low E11s per minute, and now up to... This offline 5e12 per minute, which in a day gets me all the way up to like e15, like 5e15. And that's enough to get this upgrade. Wait another day, get another one of these upgrades. And now I'm well into the e16 range, meaning I'll be able to get a couple of these upgrades. Also, I can boost this and get auto bars work twice as fast, get a couple of the infinity dimension upgrades. And, yeah, I mean, at least we have some, you know, hope of short-term progression here. I mean, long-term, I don't really see a... I mean, I'm really getting close to the end game. Like, I've heard that E19, or E18, is... I mean, I've heard reports of people getting into E19 infinity points, but that's, like, active, week-long grinding. So, I mean, I could, you know, abuse this upgrade... To, at least if this upgrade works, I should be able to get up to like E19 using my immense patience. But it really seems like there's nothing really to look forward to after E18 infinity points. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.